Hi, my name is Liz. I'm 36 and I live on the Jersey Shore. We basically came because we live three hours round trip and I had a brain surgery, which turned out to be brain cancer. Um, so I am seeking treatment in, uh, at UPenn. I am doing radiation five days a week, so I found Nick's house. It's been a lifesaver. <laughs> I was woken up uh, in a daze to EMTs and police officers in the middle of the night because my husband Joe called them because I had a seizure. And so they took me to the ER and gave me an MRI and that's how they found it, the brain tumor. I'm just going through the motions and trying to get rid of it and hopefully it will not return for a few years and then we'll deal with it then. <laughs> I teach art history right now in the high school. I'm uh, out of work um, so I really just spend time with my family. We try to go on, on adventures uh, while we're here in Philly. Like we went to the Philadelphia Zoo, like make the most of it. What was your favorite animal from the zoo? Bats. Oh yeah, the bat. Try to just make the best of it and find ways to fill the time in between. We've been very lucky to be here because this is one of the only places that do let children in. Mm -hmm. They're a real saver for a lot of families. Yeah. There are lack of resources for families that are in this situation. So for this place to be available is like, you yeah, know, really good. Hotels are very expensive for 33 treatments. So I couldn't imagine like having to stay at a hotel. Cause like basically that was the only option because other nonprofits don't allow children for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, like this is the only one that allows our child to be here, so. Without places like this, and there aren't many, I mean, I don't know how families do it. Yeah. This could either drive you apart or bring you together. This place kind of helps you bring it together. It takes away one of the biggest worries we have is how are we going to stay there? How are we going to get there? How, you know what I mean? Having other patients going through the same thing has really been, you know, like a bonding experience. And, and the caretakers too, like, you know, we have a shared experience. So I really um, have enjoyed that actually, as opposed to being uh, we're a little weary. Uh, yeah, it has been really great, honestly.